Good morning, everybody. Today's reading is going to be how do they test you? So this is like, I don't know if it's going to be have to be a romantic situation, but somebody in your life who you feel that may push you or may want to know more about you or for you to reveal more of yourself, um, that type of thing. Let's have a look to see what comes out. You have got three choices. Your The first one is the Swedish boy. The second one is the little frog. And the third one is the Swedish lady, girl. <laughs> Okay, let me just talk through this very simple spread um, today. How do they test you? Your person's coming across as the seven of air and Uranus. That is quite a clever, <laughs> a clever combination here. It's got a feeling of somebody that does something unexpected. Um, the seven of air is taking the swords away from the soldier's camp doing something different, something um, that you possibly in a thousand years couldn't have thought to do yourself. The Uranus here also has a feeling of an expected, quick, um, maybe original in some way, something that feels as if it's come out of nowhere. So it will be something that you never could have thought of, I think, guess here. Now, with regards to their personality, and I'm wondering whether there are insecurities here, because we don't test people unless we're insecure. <laughs> that, that's a bit of a strong um, thing to say there. But I wonder if that is true. We test people, I'm trying to think when you're young and you test like your boyfriends or girlfriends, because you want to see where you sit with them. So there's a slight insecurity of wanting to know. Otherwise, if you weren't that bothered, you just carry on as normal. So let's have a look at their insecurities here. It's got a feeling here, the hangman is that they do a lot of trying to understand. The Ten of Pentacles and the Father of Cups here, this person wants to feel part of a group, part of a family, part of a traditional situation, but they don't have a traditional personality it could be somebody who like cancer Aquarius type feeling where they have feelings where they like to feel as if they are loved or that they're part of a kitschy family um, that they don't feel it's possibly the hangman there they're not talking about it they're trying to adjust or understand themselves but they don't like to let people see that so you could have somebody, strong Uranus, Cancer Moon, that type of feeling here. How do they test you? The Fool and the Temperance. They go back to their Uranus type personality, um, their sort of, um, they overreact. They overreact and they pull themselves away. They possibly, um, go abroad or they possibly because these are both traveling cards they move away from you they do something that's shocking and something that's bigger than it really needs to be um because they're afraid of not belonging the full card and the temperance card Uranus and Sagittarius, um, how would they react if they felt that they couldn't get into their group, their tribe? They would pack their bags and leave. They would pretend they weren't bothered. They would be nonchalant. Nonchalant. They would pull back. It would be detachment in whatever way that came. It would be either not talking, it would be um, pretending that they weren't bothered, not turning up, um, moving away, further away, to make, going to a different office, making sure they didn't pass you in, on your normal route or that you normally pass each other. It would be feigning indifference. Pulling themselves totally out of a situation yeah without doubt they turn cold cool but friendly that makes sense it's like well you imagined it you imagined it that i was attracted to you or you imagined it that um we were best buddies whichever way this falls into a romantic camp or not 
um, and they would be, yeah, of course I like you, don't be silly, that type of feeling, which is difficult to deal with. And what they're trying to cover up inside themselves is basically, especially with the Uranus there and the hangman in the middle, it's a propensity to, um, to overthink and a really almost sweet feeling, but not if you're getting this, of wanting to feel secure in a very sort of motherly way, in a way that they like to feel as if they're seen or that somebody could give them a kiss or a hug, that type of thing. And if they feel that, that if you're sharp with them, they're going to be sharper back with you. They're going to be able to be able to be able to, um, to even to be able to pull back a lot faster, a lot quicker, and a lot further than you can or do. And this could be quite hurtful. And um, if you've got strong Sagittarius or Aquarius in you, you'd understand it and may even find it attractive, to be honest, because you may like distance, you may like independence, but this person is will do something when you're not expecting it, <clears throat> or at least what you're not expecting, but maybe you are now. This can be, it depends on your makeup. I'll give you a little inkling here. My sister, I haven't spoken to about her for quite a while, I'm sure, in these readings. I don't think I have, actually. She's Leo Pisces. She's soft. She cries a lot. <laughs> she had Uranus on her descendant. Um, and she basically, she detached from the world a bit more and came a little, I would say, a little bit cooler natured. So she went through that period of going from softness into being more independent in many ways, but also a little bit cooler and surrounding herself with Aquarius type people. Um, they don't mix very well together, but sometimes we find a balance. If you are very warm and very open, this type of person is could be scarring towards you but in in other ways it could make you more balanced in yourself I don't know what that means not to be harder because that's the worst thing that anybody can do to you but to be able to spend time on your own probably thinking with people that I know um to be able to say okay right you pull back and that's fine I don't mind rather than following or running or that type of feeling because you don't want you're not in this pile at all so I'm not looking at you today and um, it's like you don't if you feel that that rings true for you, it's that you don't want to be needy. This person um, needs to feel secure, but not the fact that you need to make, make yourself needy for them, if that makes sense. So what I've got here with regards to how do they test you? They pull back, they turn cool, they uh, move away either emotionally or physically. They become a little bit more like, well, of course I like you, but don't get a buddy station type feeling without even having to say it because what they want deep down is for somebody to molly cuddle them with the ten of pentacles and the father of cups here i don't mean it in a bad way but somebody to hug to hold to kiss to love and if they fear that that's not on the table literally here they overthink it and then they remove themselves it doesn't have to be an aggressive way um, Aquarius type people that I've seen do this tend to do it. They just go quiet. They don't, they don't, it won't be in such a way that it's in your imagination, stupid type sentence coming out. It's all more, more a case of, yeah, I'll meet you next week. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Of course, we're friends when you're actually waiting for that little bit more or wondering what you've done. So that's what I've got for power number one. Only short readings today for no particular reason. I just wanted to keep it simple. I think actually it's nearly 10 minutes um, but that is what I've got if you if you want a reading they're always available on Patreon but they normally have um, put out what I can put out on Sunday nights on YouTube um, thank you very much for joining me and bye Okay, this has got a totally different feeling from power number one. So power number two, these are just short readings for no particular reason, just the fact I wanted to keep it simple. The reading before had lots of cards out, doesn't make it a better reading, but it depends. Um, you've got here a feeling of somebody who, the temperance card and the psyche card here, to me feels um, very insightful. 
it's like somebody who may be already interested in patterns, people, situations below the surface, spirituality, that type of thing. They pick things up. They're interested in it. So to me, this person is very aware with regards to how they test you. There's a feeling here of somebody that takes away the love or takes away the security or takes, not in a bad way. This isn't a bad part at all. It's like let me just translate this this is more like their um, insecurities and I know that we're not looking at their insecurities but if they're te people test when they feel a little bit threatened so this person the Empress the Nine of Pentacles here um, their insecurity is enjoying stability enjoying love and finding it can sometimes be a shaky path so it's something that they crave it's something that they want they like people to they like home to be nice they like people to look good they like to um to feel secure they know how to get it they're clever they're bright they're understanding but sometimes it can feel like it does feel like cl climbing up a wall or going across this bridge to get there because i wonder whether in their childhood that something tripped them up it may to me it doesn't feel like something big it's not even as big as like parents that divorced it's more a case of uh, maybe they had a friend that they thought was a really good friend they felt secure and this person turned around to them and said i don't think we're friends anymore and it really hit home with them so how do they test you they oh my gosh i was gonna say they gush how can you test somebody by they flatter they give love why a test if they're very good at understanding people okay okay let me just put these down a minute there's a feeling here that they test you by being clear open loving if it's abused in any way <laughs> abused <laughs> when i was young um sorry that's a speech of an old film um no it's not it's when my mother was alive isn't it um there that's it this person's not coming from a bad place they're not coming from a part or a place where i'm gonna make you pay or i'm vindictive and dark and i'm gonna make sure i get what i want this is somebody who's quite normal as in I think we all have this energy inside us where we want to feel secure and something everybody's got some hurt in the past and this isn't like a big hurt it's more a case of keep your eyes peeled in case it's, it happens again because you don't want it to get big and you've got here somebody that loves quite openly honestly and in an honest fashion who um, is expressive kind generous with their heart and with their words and with their spirit and if that's not returned to me it feels like they pick it up way before most people would if they feel that um this person will test you by giving you something and watching to see whether you say thank you and that will be like a tiny test they will open their hearts slowly and each time if there isn't any gratitude or there's a feeling that they think that you aren't up to their standard in some way and that may sound weird i can't i put try and translate that into norm, a normal sentence um if they feel that you are playing with them or that you oh gosh they say you should say the first thing that comes to your mind but worst of the time I think it's bruised if that you are bruised enough not to be able to reciprocate and I know that sounds hard but not everybody is in the same way I'm not saying you are that in this is in the same sort of playing field to be able to give love because a lot of people hold it back for this fear feeling of fear here so if they fear or feel both probably that you can't love they won't give and that's how they will test you they will test you with small tests of seeing how open how kind how at peace with yourself you are they probably don't even know they do it and i think we all do this you, know, you give you give some you give somebody an opening you know and you want to trust them and if that trust is gone then you just don't do it again do you and that has got that feeling in this of that feeling in this they do 
this person tests by loving, they test by giving, um, but they're well aware that it needs to be reciprocated. This person feels all together. And if it's not reciprocated, then it doesn't get repeated. Oh my Lord, I quite fancy your person. Yeah, they, they retract, I guess. They go into what I would say is a, um, you're not there for me to play with unless you are, what is good? I don't know what good is, to be honest, but you're, they're their type of good, which is um, kind, feeling, open, honest, playing the straight game, as in like being straight up, not straight as in like sexuality. Yeah, they retract, they, if there's unfairness, they will sniff it a mile off, they'll be out of there and they will probably do a little bit of thinking about it, but they won't come back out, I don't think. This is, oh, my kids are shouting downstairs. My daughter hasn't seen the dog for six weeks because she's gone to college, she's come back and she's loud anyway, but a flipping heck. Anyway, that's what I've got, pile number, only short readings today, pile number two your person feels grand they feel like a grand person in this life on this world somebody who um gives first who is gentle who is kind and who expects other people to give back to them and if they don't you fail the test <laughs> you fail the test it's like robbie rotten here um oh robbie rotten um and <laughs> I was going to tell you a story then, but I won't about Robbie Rotten. Um, yeah, that's it. They want balance. They want fairness. They want somebody who's playing the same game as them or you're out. <laughs> that, that's the feeling I've got in this. Pile number two. Um, it feels like you found someone good there. Um, yeah, be good too. I'm not saying you're not, but it's, it's, um, it's a rare thing, I think, to people to not have such... Um, Oh, I'm going to shut up. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, and be sweet and kind to that person. Bye. Okay. This one is a tough person out of the piles here who knows how to test and enjoys it. This person has got a feeling that um, that they have had many tests in their life and they quite enjoy the whole competition of it all. They want to see whether, it's just like somebody who puts up situations to see whether you do pass and they enjoy the whole um, excitement, titillation, the whole game playing here. The reason why I'm saying this, you've got the fortune at the beginning for them and the a Saturn card. The fortune is the wheel of fortune where um, it's Sagittarius testing. <laughs> testing. Sagittarius are testing. I think Sagittarians are on this world to test people because they do, because they are quite extreme. Not if you've got a little bit of Sagittarius and you please ignore this. If you have Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, the whole lot, you are here to test people. You push people to the limits because you just. You're just on this world through being. And so people are thrown back on their own selves because most of the time you just are. And they're like thrown back to see how they're going to actually um, respond to you. So they have to question themselves. Um, with the Saturn card here, once again, it's a feeling of karma. It's a feeling of testing. Both of these test, test, test. And this person... Um, can carry on pushing or playing for a long extended period of time. I've got a little story here which I will say quickly with regards to my sister and this because this has got this feeling in it. My sister started a job I would say 10-15 years ago um, and she was in Manchester at the time and this guy was you know high fi I don't know if he was sales but Sagittarius type of feeling. Somebody who pushes um, because they quite like the competition and being pushed themselves. My sister hates it. She used to spend nights in um, Old Tringham 
Tesco car park crying on the phone just because she hated it and but she stood her ground and of course it's like that oh you know those films you get at the end of it she was like yeah I'm a better person for it I absolutely hated every second of it and he came to her and said something at the end you know well done uh, he lost his job he went somewhere else to work in America after this and lost his job through being a complete shit <laughs> really but testing testing person testing person here too you've got here feelings once again the two of pentacles goes with this karmic feeling and this could be repeated over and over again you will know that this person tests you i think with this pile here the ace of wands is adding to the fire and that competitiveness that that okay i'm going to push it to the limit to see how well you succeed it has one of these like sas forces type and um, competitions feeling in it with a fire behind it here and the father of swords is this person's um, intelligent enough uh, and clever enough to be able to think of the best test possible I can't even think of these here but this person will push you to the limit to see what you're made of <laughs> very different from power number one and two here and how do they do that they expect you to turn out like them the wheel of fortune the chariot has a similar feeling to that strength of will the saturn card the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune they expect you as my as this other guy would expect from my sister to be able to if you haven't got fire in you and or you haven't got what i would say is like pluto feel you won't like this pile if you have you like game on because this is like a game on pile here they expect you to um to push back and most of the time you find people with fire in them and they push you because that's what they do you know fire expands doesn't it they push you they have more respect for you when you push back and it's always expected to do that it's like that haggling thing hate it hate haggling um you know you've got to haggle well just tell me what the thing costs and i'll pay you it um but there's like oh that's disgusting i know you, it's not so much like that anymore but they expect you to haggle back this person wants you to haggle back they want you to be strong and to be able to put them in their place in a way that is better than them, not in a way that is um, cruel or shirty, but in a way that has shows strength and character and will. And I know you're thinking, God, I wish I'd pick power one or power two. But this is a game that they're playing. And with regards to the feeling here, it repeats itself a lot in your relationship and it may be good for you but it's only if you're reacting in a way and you're taking as far as you want to take it until you come out and say hold on you know i need a breather or you're not for me this person tests in ways that are well thought out that um that is testing your metal because they want to see that you're made of the same stuff as them very much a forces I say this a lot to be honest because I used to work in a school with um forces kids in it and the mums and the dads were if you could put people in stereotypes which you know you shouldn't do they were straight up they were you know they wanted their kids to be strong and truthful and open and honest but and tough um not all but that is a general feeling underlying feeling obviously not all I would say like you know 80 percent of it maybe um, which is normally like fire and push and straightforward. Um, why, am I, why is my family shouting down here? So to start summing this up, how do they test you? They test you with big tests that expect you to, this can almost feel like a bit of a fighty pile where there could be arguments and they expect you, because they push, they expect you to be able to have strong boundaries and stick up for yourself and say, well, hold on, you were wrong with this and I'm not taking this and this and this and this. And if you haven't got fire in you or strong Pluto, you'd be like, I'm not doing this. This is, if you've got lots of water in you, you'd be crying in Tesco car park. You're like, I'm not playing this depends how much you want it and whether you think you're going to come up better at the end of it yourself if you feel that you need toughening up toughening up you need big tests because these will be repeated fortune saturn karma repeated big earthly events that come in patterns the two of pentacles in the middle here same feeling here you've got the father of swords here somebody that's um intelligent enough to know what they're doing the ace of wands and has the ability to be able to do it with gumption you've got here the wheel of fortune and the chariot card you know what are they testing they're testing for you to come back with the same energy as them 
If you're in love with somebody or attracted to somebody or you've got a boss or a friend that has this feeling, that says what they're thinking, that has a lot of energy and pushes people, um, this is your pile and they expect you to be the same as them. If you are like Aries, Sagittarius, even a touch of Leo, um, strong planets like Mars or Pluto in your chart, you're going to think, okay, this is my pile. <laughs> I like it. You like, you like a challenge. This person likes a challenge and that's how they'll test you. Let me have a look a little bit before I go of particular instances or if I can get a clue to whether you've had any tests before and how this may show up. This <sighs> Seven of Cups will be having a crack at you for being indecisive. There's nothing more fire people, fire people hate than people that can't make their mind up. <laughs> Um, Hierophant card here, being too content in your little space, pushing you out of your um, mindset that you find is um, that you're happy in or pushing yourself out of your comfort zone or making you be more independent with your thought processes with a the Hierophant there. The Ten of Pentacles here is not being so attached to your family or your home environment or how you've grown up. And oftentimes you find with fire people, the two, I think it's your um, lifeline and your headline, you find that they're, those mine are attached here. You find that they're not attached because they don't have that feeling of um, home being all. Maybe public school kids, maybe forces kids. Um, you're your partner, your boss, whoever you're looking at could be that type of person. Very exciting, interesting pile here um, that will only, that could really annoy a few people. But to be honest, um, if you have fire inside you, you're like, okay, this is my person. I'm going to love you and leave you. Short readings today uh, for no reason than just, I think it's easier, you more, it's easier to get a lot together in a short reading not that's wrong actually it's easier to articulate sometimes with less cards that's what i was trying to say um thank you very much for joining me readings go out um they're on patreon they're there all the time um and i put what i have or what i can give out on sundays evenings normally on youtube so thank you very much for joining me and bye, -bye.